Python on Hardware News. Going to go over a couple things, and then the usual, I picked one topic that we're going to talk about. Okay. It's going to be a little surprising this week. What? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, well, first up, congratulations. Uh, we mentioned this before, but we're up to 9,000 subscribers. If you haven't already, go it's to... It's now a over 9,000. Over 9,000. That's like an old meme. Um, go to adafruitdaily.com and sign up there. It's not connected to your Adafruit store account. We don't spam. We don't harvest anything. Um, we made a completely separate site. Use those like email tricks so you can see if we ever use your email address yeah. for anything else. We don't. Yeah, don't trust us. That's, that's, why, I, that's why I say it. Um, so do that because... Uh, you know, after we hit like a milestone, like 9,000, yeah. it'll slow down a little bit, then it'll get like 10,000. But if you could uh, sign up, we'd appreciate that because you'll get all this delivered to your inbox every week. It's my um, favorite newsletter. Jepler, stop by, check out our. You remember that? That was last week. That was last week. Check out our um, video. And then also, uh, Jeff's usually around in the chats and all that too. Um, so Jeff got his picture taken. If you work for Adafruit, you get your picture taken and you get to hang out with Blinka. Um, this is why you want to be a core contributor to CircuitPython. It, this is one of the benefits. This is one of the benefits. Yeah. Um, so lots of different things. Uh, we posted up about the study of open source hardware in the EU. Um, there's a bunch of projects in addition to events and more. But this week, the thing that I wanted to start to talk about is we ported CircuitPython features to Arduino. Yes, we learned things. Yeah. So <laughs> so I thought this was interesting because this is the, 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 the snake wagging the tail or something but it's interesting because yes. we you know we did yes. we, 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 i think we're still the i like that graphic did yeah you know that? no that's Anne. Huh. um nice work, I, Anne. I think we're one of now i'm just gonna say it because unless someone someone will tweet at me if wow. i'm wrong um I, we're the largest we're the biggest contributor to the oh, arduino the libraries. libraries yeah, yeah we definitely have and so uh, as we were doing circuit python we're like we learned a lot let's do a lot of things and then we had some um requests for arduino we, we do a, a yearly thing, like, oh, here's what we'd like to see in Arduino. Um, and so we did get to this one for Arduino, and I'll, I'll go over some of the things that we had requested, but what is this? For the folks that do Arduino coding, they're going to be like, this is the best thing ever. If you have code like this in your libraries or your examples, and if you write Arduino, you probably do this, like, wire write, wire send, and then you request and send and receive, and you're just tired of, of the same code over and over again, especially if you're doing driver libraries for chips where it uses like SM bus registers where you write the register address and you read data from that address. There's so much boilerplate that's constantly redone over and over and over again to like read buffers and what if you have to write, read or write more than 32 bytes and then you have to do multiple transactions. Anyways, um, so one of the cool things about CircuitPython is because we did that, we basically st structured it. I was like, all the things I didn't want to do in Arduino, I made sure that we fixed and made working easier in CircuitPython. Mm -hmm. So doing stuff like register access and writing large chunks of data to and from um, I squared C and SPI is a lot easier. And then I was like, I want to take that simplicity. The and, and some of it's also from Linux, by the way. Linux also has a really good API that we borrowed from in GPIO zero. But the whole idea of like write then read and the prefixing and like, you know, having it just be one transaction where you send and receive a buffer. Um, so you can see all the code on, on here, it, you know, all of it got replaced with that down there. And what's cool is, is that there are um, platform by platform changes to how wire and SPI work. Believe me, I have found out they're not all exactly the same. And so all of that complexity is hidden now in a library. And it's like, I just say, here's what I want to do. And it will do the best it can, depending on the, on the platform, to have repeated starts or clock stretching or... Um, you know, large buffered reads and, and concatenations um, and all that good stuff. So, you know, maybe we'll even support, in, in SPI we support software, BitBang I, uh, SPI as well, and we'll probably add uh, BitBang I squared C. So just like taking all that complexity that is just, I've been copying and pasting through like 400 libraries and we're just flushing it out and Carter's doing yeah. an amazing job going through and updating all our libraries. So we have a blog post of this and more. And then the other thing we have is um, if you go to our December of 2019 blog post, wow. you can see the features that we had asked Arduino to consider, uh, download stats for the Arduino community, tiny USB support and Arduino core, UFT bootloader support, um, Arduino library standards and automation. That's the stuff I'm working on. Uniform a lot. transfer of structured data. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bus.io. Support for Grove Quick Stemma, and that was actually on the you know, mailing list today. If we did another post, I would actually ask for the same exact stuff. This is the stuff, the tooling and, and the, the tool chain stuff 
and continuous integration and uh, sta- yeah. you know standards for library writers. Oh boy, that would be so great. So this is uh, the reason I'm putting this in the Python and hardware section is because we wanted to see something in Arduino, but because it wasn't there, we were able to do it in Circuit Python. And, and now we can back and now we're do it. Yeah. putting it in Arduino. So there's lots of different ways to get to a destination. This is one of them. Yep. And that is the Python on Hardware News this week. Thank you, Blinka.